Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of who all are continuously supporting me, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And for those of who all are new here, uh, please see my content. If you really enjoyed it, like, share and subscribe. So today's video is all about Samantha Akinini inspired makeup look. Uh, the look I'm going for is this. I will also, you know, uh, uh, drop a picture right after this. See her eye makeup is not too much. Uh, it's barely uh, it it has a smoky eye, but it has a lot of warmth of brown tones, and also she does not have an eyeliner except that has been lined with an eyeshadow and a very minimal uh, uh, lipstick as well. So let's get started. I have already prepped and primed my skin, so I have a little bit of uh, you know correcting as well. Uh, for those of who all have missed my first video, how to get the base right, uh, I'll link it down below. Please go ahead and watch it. It gives you a lot of insight on how to correct and conceal your skin. So I'm using the MAC uh, Conceal and Correct Duo. Um, I'm not sure about the shade. It's in burnt coral. So I do have a lot of dark circles and those are genetics. So I'm just going to use it with a brush apply it lightly I am done with my correcting so I'll be going on with the foundation the foundation shade I'm using is a uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC37 I am this shade uh, so I've just taken a dab and it will go a long way so much so if you see that photo of what i showed you she literally has the most beautiful skin she generally has a beautiful skin so and um, if you see she does not have too much of blush or too much of contouring or too much of eyeshadow going on it's very minimalistic which i really really love so I'm going to go with the foundation all over the face. I do need a little bit of correction on my on my pimple. So I'm going ahead and using the Make It Forever Conceal and Cut Palette. So I'll be using the shade green. The reason because my pimples are a little bit more on the red side and it just cancels out the red. And just blend it, warm it up with your fingers. So now that's done. Go ahead with the foundation. I'm not applying too much, as you can see, she barely has a lot of products on her face. Now I'll be going ahead and using the LA Pro Conceal. I'm not trying to highlight it too much or cover it too much because um, as per the picture she hasn't done a lot so I'm not going for that all out look. Do not forget your neck and uh, ears. Please excuse my hair. It looks a mess I know but it will be fine at the end. So because I'm going for a side part like how it is there in the picture. So now that I'm done with my base, I'll be, you know, setting it with a powder. And I'm going to bake, bake my under eyes because I'm doing my eyeshadow after my base. 
generally I do it before since this was not much of a very you know out there look so I thought let me do my base first and then move on to the eyeshadow my makeup I'll, I'm using the penai banana powder if you do not have this uh, you can use uh, the compact of your shade and do the same I'm gonna just let it sit there for some time I'm just going to be using the brush and diffusing the powder because she has a very dewy look so I don't want it to be too uh, matte. If I want too much of a matte look I would have gone with the sponge. Since I do not want the same I am just going ahead with it. I'm going ahead again a little bit of the eyes so I'm going ahead and using the uh, coastal sands 252 ultimate palette if you do not have this as I recommended in my last video you can use the illegal nudes palette or any kind of shades that are more of on the warmer tones so that would do I'm using a eyeshadow blending brush MAC 217 and I'm going ahead with the color brown um, a little bit of the warmer tone so you just have to circle in she has a little bit of smokiness but it's not too out there as well so just go in with the wind wiper motion I could say and she has the same color all around so I'm just going to diffuse the same thing here they have given a kind of like the almond eye look so. I think I'm happy with this I'm just going to blend a little bit more so whenever you want a bit of a smoky at the end so make sure you take the brush and just keep uh, you know um, rotating this way I just go in the rinse wipe motion I'm just going to do the same thing on this side the reason I'm baking my under eyes is when I'm doing this eyeshadow, there is going to be a little bit fallout on this area. So when I'm just sweeping this out and it just goes away, it does not get into my foundation. So I think I'm okay with this pretty much. That's the warmth she has on her eyes. So I'm going ahead with this brush um, sticking a little bit of the same color and going underneath my eyes be very careful this can get into inside your eyes as a stick so So now what I'm doing is she does not have an eyeliner as such but her eyes are lined with a shade of black uh, but using a um, eyeshadow. Just going with a black eyeshadow here and just lining it.
and I'm going to go again. I'm going to go again with the MAC 217 and just diffuse it more. So you can see it's like barely there but still my eyes are lined. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And also she does not have a you know kajal as such uh, so i'm just gonna go with this angular brush and just take the same black eyeshadow and just draw a very just blend very very little Again, I'm going to take the very this blending brush. I'm even going to smudge a little bit. Just going to create the same look here. Now that I'm done with the smudging, I'm just going to remove the excess powder. So I'm going to blend a bit more on this side. Yeah. Now I'm going to go uh, with the pros. Always go darker at the ends and lighter in the starting part of your eyebrows. Now I am going to go with the blush. Uh, this is the MAC blush in the shade Gingerly. So she, since she does not have much, so I didn't want to go uh, for another shade. See how naturally this diffuses. If you are looking for a very natural looking blush, this is it. Now I'm also going to highlight my skin. So I'm using the uh, Benefit WhatsApp highlighter. So I would just be taking, warming it in my finger, just on the high cheekbone area. Because Samantha is all about highlighting, so her skin is always glowy. This is one way you can achieve it. So you can see how nice of a healthy glow it gives. I'm going to go with the same shade underneath my eyebrows. You can use a brush or you can use a finger, but whenever it's a cream, I prefer using my fingers. I'm going to go down my nose a little bit on the tip of my nose my cupid's bow 
Lành lách. So now that we're done with all this, I'm just gonna line my lips. Um, I think this is Miss Claire lip liner. I don't know the exact shade. It is just there in the warm shade, so I'm just gonna. I'm just lining my lips with this. So. Once this is done, I'm just going to take my lip brush, blend this in because I don't want a harsh line. And then I'm going to go with a MAC lipstick called Meher, it's a very beautiful, um, how do I say, it's a very beautiful Indian pink shade. Uh, she just has a small black bindi which I usually wear I'm gonna come back with my hair and jewelry and show you guys how it looks so I'm back with my jewelry and my hair she has a very low bun that's what I have done and with a bit of a side parting um, and that's what suits me as well so bit of a side parting and a very low bun and obviously I do not have the same choker that she has uh, so this is what I had and uh, this is what I've gone with and she does have a sleeveless blouse and you know a blue sari and that's what I've gone with so I hope you guys have you know enjoyed watching this tutorial I'll come back with a hairdo again and I'll show you guys how to do a low bun so thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe um, and please forward your feedback in the comments and every feedback of yours uh, matters a lot to me because it helps me improve my channel more so thank you guys for watching